Hey guys, welcome back to Radical Investors. So happy for you guys to come back to our channel. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. If it's your first time here at Radical Investors, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Um, wanted to just hop right into the video. Yeah. You guys know that we love Desktop Metal. It is one of our favorite, favorite companies. It, we talk about it a lot. We have a playlist breaking down the thesis of the company, yeah. breaking down some of their products. And um, speaking of products, they just dropped another one today. Yeah, so we're just going to read this off. So um, they've just dropped a new product um, via X1. Okay, now this was a company they, they acquired last year. And X1 was another uh, play in this adaptive manufacturing. And they acquired them because, you know, desktop metal is just well positioned. And this is why we're invested yeah. in desktop metal. So, yeah, the, the new X1 um, X Max line of industry sand binders and jet solutions. So this tech, this system is going to leverage the combined technology and application and expertise of desktop metal and X1 to offer an affordable price, precise and robust tool for founding, stepping into the next era of digital casting. Now this is designed for turnkey ease, means ready to use products, right? And it's gonna use some desktop metal patents pendings uh, single pass jetting technology to print at high speeds delivering low parts costs now this is the most affordable sand 3d printer ever offered by the x1 brand and it aims to bring sand buying jetting to every foundry so to every individual on the planet that wants to partake uh, this technology is going to be available and this is another win for desktop metal. Yeah, absolutely. Right? This, this is, is another is... product out there. Yeah, this is, this is why we love the team and this is why we love um, investing in this company. They ship product, Yeah, right? They buy companies, they acquire companies, they continue to dominate the space, right? So in the adaptive manufacturing space, there's a few other competitors that are sm way smaller. Um, but if you are a believer in the thesis, thesis of adaptive manufacturing if you believe that in the future we're going to have to be able to build things locally in order to um, drive profits and drive uh, delivery times and things of that nature then desktop metals and no brainer yeah and i i want to emphasize like this is again this is another product that they're putting out ready to be made right ready ready to go just a month ago they put out the uh the the new p system right and that was met with with um, a lot of orders and and that was all in the 10k and now you have another product and i didn't want to agree too much to get too much into the technicals because it's like you, you know it, it's at that point it's just too technical it's like yeah. it's, it's kind of pointless to go in deep but on a high level what you're seeing is them attacking um, adaptive manufacturing from every angle and manufacturing there's a lot of angles right there's a lot of um individual processes in 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 it right there's manufacturing metals to sand or right? sanding right to uh teeth wood. right to wood right it, it's like it's so many multiple spaces where desktop metal is exposing themselves to in the industry in different industries and that's why we love them so much because this is adaptive manufacturing across the board across multiple products multiple industries and it's really positioning themselves to be just future proof yeah. right they're not reliant they're they're really not going to be reliant on any one industry Absolutely. and it's this is just kind of an example of that I think. yeah and once once again, um, a no brainer. Can't say enough right? about desktop metal. We, you know, we are we are um, continuously adding to to our yeah uh, port port our, our our position in our portfolio. It's an amazing company. They deliver every single time. Yeah. in my opinion, at some point, right? We say this a lot, but at yeah. some point, you know, the whole market is down right now. So yeah, you guys can't. We can't expect, you know, desktop metal to, you know, to, to do, to, yeah, 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 to, to go, yeah. you know, thousand X. But at some point, right, um, the, the market, right, the street will see the value yeah. in, in this particular company. Who knows how long that's going to yeah. take, but I am a big believer that 
the adaptive manufacturing narrative yeah. is going to take off, especially when you speak about the backdrop mm -hmm. of the supply chain crisis, right? Big time. Especially Big when time. you see what happens when you have all your manufacturing centralized um, in China, and that's countries and in, in, uh, companies yeah. throughout the world. So that's not just America. Every right. uh, everyone uses China as their yeah. um, you know their labor base and their factory Pretty hub. Much, yeah. But but what happens when you're Polestar or your Tesla and you need to make cars to deliver in New Haven, Connecticut, but you can't deliver them because you don't have a piece. That, that you're waiting on from yeah. China, right? Or what happened if you're Cadillac, right? Yeah, look, and the, just to make it personal, like so, and products, so um, Mercedes, right, was at the dealership and they were talking and saying that on their new models, they're actually eliminating the, um, they're making it manual to adjust the seats. Yeah. We're talking about at Mercedes, right? Like that's yeah. insane. But that's showing you the constraints and the supply chain issues that are there, yeah. right? And look, this is that's a Mercedes. A that that's that. not gonna be. You cannot do <laughs> that for too long, call. okay? Maybe they might get away with that with a few models for one year, but that is that's not going call. to be something that can happen long lasting. So they're gonna have to figure it out, right? And it's gonna be sounds like a Buick, right? And yeah, right. But it's so. But that's how that's how much constraints, right? But look, to their credit, they're still getting out Mercedes, right? Yeah, look yeah. on the side of a they, Tesla, they have to do where it. you still have a two year wait. Yeah, so it's like yeah, you have to do it. Each company is making their own judgment calls, but that just shows you how localization is very important. Like in real time, where you have brands that are kind of compromising the brands, right? Just because of supply chain shortages. And it, you know, it shouldn't be called for. And eventually I think every company is going to have exposure to adaptive manufacturing, guys. 1000%. Yeah. And just to speak on the stock, you know, you have to, you know, <laughs> we're long desktop metal and i i'm quite frankly fine if it just sits like this for a year because it just allows us to accumulate more shares that is what we care about here we're long-term investors so the price fluctuating and all that that's not the big win right now right that comes uh, 10 years from now we just want to gobble up and not more we just want to accumulate shares 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 and then multiply that by whatever price it's going to be 10 years from now that's the target that we want to be at and amazon 1999 yeah just think about amazon it's like the best companies that that have these huge takeoffs right even tesla right it's like they, they it's like a boomerang they're just stretched and stretched for a long period of time amazon your tesla misunderstood Damn netflix it. so long nvidia like just so long google and then boom it just takes off and it doesn't come back right it doesn't return it's to the moon so you know, just be happy that you guys are, um, if you guys are invested, be happy with your shares and just continue to accumulate and do, you know, do your own research. And, you know, let, if you do have an opposing view, let us know your thoughts, you know, if you're like not bullish against adaptive yeah. manufacturing and why, why you think it's not the case, but absolutely. Yeah. Guys, it's always a pleasure. Like always happy hunting. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.